Hi friends, it's me, Christiana Gaudet. I am live on my Facebook business page. It is Saturday. That means it is time for the Saturday Psychic Sampler. If you are watching in your archive on YouTube or my website, or even here on Facebook, once I'm no longer live, I will not be able to answer your questions. However, if you listen, you might hear something that feels interesting. So this is the Saturday Psychic Sampler. That means specific questions only. Uh, today is not the day where we ask, what does the universe want me to know? Come on, man, give me a question that is interesting. Make me work a little, make me think a little. Give me a specific question. Go ahead and put it in the comments. I will get to as many people as I can. I have very limited time today. So, hey, Cynthia, you found me. Well done. Hey, Cassia, nice to see you. So specific questions only. Christina, nice to see you. Get your specific questions in here right now. I will get to as many as I can. While I'm waiting for questions, I want to remind you that we have a meetup on YouTube Live tomorrow on my YouTube channel, Christiana Gaudet. 4 p.m. Eastern Time before the Super Bowl. We'll be there for an hour doing readings and learning about tarot. It's free. It's fun. Join me there. That's tomorrow. I also want to remind you I am available for readings by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger, or Zoom. Just reach out. Okay. So let's see. First question. Let's see. We've got... Um, Jackie, it's nice to see you. First question is from Shauna. Nice to see you. Um, should I go to Tampa tomorrow to watch the game? And of course, as a Florida girl from New England, I'm going to say, regardless, this is not psychic at all. I'm not even going to look psychically. I'm going to say, you mean to watch Tampa triumph magnificently? Hey, a girl can dream, right? Okay, let's see. Um, should you, should you go to Tampa to do this? Honestly, I think it would be fun. It would be interesting, but I would say no. I think there are other ways and places to watch the game that will be easier and better. And oh, look, man, just like that, we have found ourselves a troll so let me take care of that right away, my friends. Um, and so, Shauna, I got to say, uh, save your time. You could if you wanted to, but um, in my opinion, I, I feel like you are better to not go. Okay. Troll blocked. All right. Okay, Maria Barisi, is my husband okay? So that's such an interesting question. Like, in what context? Um, I'll pull some cards on it, but um, give me, uh, as an example, folks, um, the more detail you can give me, the more detail I will give you. What does okay mean in this context? Let's see. Uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to say yeah. He is stuck in some way and he has some changes uh, that he's either going through or needs to make or both, but I do believe he's okay. Uh, Christina, am I going to get a job offer from the interviews I've had? And if multiple come in, how do I make sure I pick the one that's best for me? Right. Very good question. Okay. So we know you rocked those interviews. Do we think you will get some offers? Let's see, you did four interviews. I'm betting you're going to get two offers. So will it be obvious of the two which ones you which one you want? It may be really obvious based on hours or salary or commute or, you know, some other obvious reason. Um, but that's how you choose. You choose based on, you know, take the best offer and the offer that feels best for you. I think it's, it's going to be relatively obvious. Missy Lynn, nice to see you. Uh, lately, you've just not been feeling like myself. I can't pinpoint what exactly that is that's keeping me feeling this way. I guess my question would be, 
Uh, what do the cards see regarding my all around health? Right, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Why aren't you feeling like yourself? Honestly, I think a lot of it is probably pandemic fatigue. I really do. I, I feel like it's just been a long time since things have been normal and it's weighing on you. Obviously, if you have health questions, definitely consult your doctor. But my feeling is it has just been too long since you've had any kind of normalcy. And I think, you know, this is a marathon, not a sprint. I think it's okay. I think you're okay. I think you're going to be okay. We just have to wait some more and things will come back together. That's what I think. Obviously, check with your doctor to be sure, but I'm not worried. Okay, so Cassia, my question, uh, why my job is giving me a hard time? I've been working by myself, uh, forcing me to go nights. Should I quit? Um, what's going on there? You know, I, I don't think it's personal at this point. I think that it's just a situation where they're having a hard time getting all the shifts covered. Don't quit until you have something else. A bad job is better than no job. Uh, but looking for another job is not a bad idea. Okay, for Kim Case, will her refinancing go through? Today? I don't know if it'll happen today, but I think it'll happen within the next week. Okay, Cynthia, am I going to find a new job? I believe so, Cynthia. I would say even within the next three months, there will be a new job. Okay. Linda Armstrong, nice to see you. Should I open another not-for-profit, you glutton for punishment, you? Let's see. Um... That's a really hard one. Everything, if you do it, it's going to be really, really hard for a long period of time before it gets better. Worth it in the long run? Yes. But only do it if you're willing to go through hell for a year or two. So is it in your best interest? Not necessarily. Is it in the best interest of the world? Maybe. Talk to your husband about it and figure out whether now is the right time for this or not. It is a damn good idea. It is. But man, it's not going to be easy if you do. Two trolls in one session. I can't believe it. That's amazing. Um... And I'm not seeing this troll on my phone. So I'll, I'll keep looking for this troll. But uh, that's, that's, that's a new world's record for me. We must be doing something right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I have found the troll. And I'm blocking the troll. There you go. All right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Linda, man, I'm not sure how much that was guidance. That uh, Just so hard. Just so hard that one is because it's a great idea, Linda. But oh, my gosh, as your friend, I'm going to say, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, as your reader, I'm going to say, oh, be very, very, very careful at this time before you take that on. OK, Shelly, I'm not a doctor, but will my newest health diagnosis get resolved soon or is it lifelong? I feel like it's something that's been with you for a long time, but I feel like it is something that can indeed be resolved. So keep looking for that resolution. Karen Winkle, why does my boss keep insulting my abilities? That sucks. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. Why is that happening? Hmm. Okay, it could just be that your boss is an asshole. 
It could be that. It could be that your boss is really stubborn and doesn't like the fact that you question, but sometimes you have to question because your questions are correct. And I think it's all about insecurity. I think you make the boss insecure because you're efficient and you know a lot. And so the boss has to diminish you because by diminishing you, the boss feels more secure. That's what I really think is happening. Anita Lovett, will my online class for 40 people be successful? So nice to see you, Anita. I'm glad that you're here. And I believe that it will indeed be successful. I'm excited about it for you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jackie. I feel like I'm just going through the motions every day, just existing. What do I need to do to start living and get my fire back? Jackie, I'm wondering if you've got COVID fatigue as well. You know, we are dragging, and those of us who are psychic are dragging especially because um, we're feeling not only what we're going through in our own lives, but we can feel what's going on in the whole world. Never have we lived in a time where everyone at the same time was so miserable, and it affects us, you know, no matter how well shielded we are, it affects us. Uh, beyond that, though, for you specifically, Jackie, you need to do something funny. You need to watch a funny movie. You need to laugh with a friend. Under normal circumstances, I would say you should go out dancing and have some fun. I don't think you can do that right now. Uh, but really, you need to break out of your routine and do something fun that will help. But just remember, a lot of this is not you. It's the world. And we just have to wait for it to get better. Okay, Linda's going to make an appointment so I can talk her out of her nonprofit. I would love a chance to look at that in more, more in depth. In all seriousness, Linda, I would love a chance to look at that. Okay, Deborah Perez, is my financial situation going to get better? It may get worse before it gets better. You're going to have to be very, very, very careful. The next five months will be hard. After that, I think there's some improvement. Denise, will my doctor keep me on blood thinners for the rest of this year? Very likely, yes. Okay, Laura Maloney, will my finances get better? Actually, within the next three months, I think there will be some significant improvement. Absolutely. Okay, so from my perspective, I have answered every question, one question for each person that I've seen. Uh, if I accidentally missed you, please reiterate. If you've been lurking but did indeed want to ask a question, please go ahead and do so. I want to remind you that I am teaching a premium class coming up on February 18th. It's called Tarot Reading for Personalities and Relationships, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You can get a ticket. It's on Zoom. Uh, find it on my website, tarotbychristiana.com. Go to the events or look at the events here on Facebook. I do want to remind you to join us for our Cards and Conversation Tarot Meetup on my YouTube channel, Christiana Gaudette, tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, couple more questions uh, uh, from Missy Lynn for your husband. Is there deceit going on at his job that he should be aware of, something they're not making him aware of? Not that I can see. I mean, there are some shady characters there, but not necessarily anything that's going to affect him. Tell him not to be too paranoid. Okay. Uh, Liz, I'm thinking about moving out of state to Georgia or back to Massachusetts. I think, and I don't think this has to happen immediately, but within the next year, it's not a bad idea. And, but do I love either Massachusetts or Georgia for you? I'm not sure. Maybe there's other possibilities too. The idea of a move is good, but I'm not sure that that's, you know, that we know the right place yet. Uh, Chris Neal, will my father have a safe, safe flight? Can I speak English? Will my father have a safe flight today from Chris Neal? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Friends, I will look forward to seeing you soon. 
I want to thank you all so much for being here. I'll be back Monday, 9.30 a.m. with your three-card weekly reading. Catch me on YouTube Live tomorrow, 4 p.m. I will look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much.